Hello everyone, welcome to your breathwork basics. So we begin with our body position and our tongue placement, surprising enough. So we want to start in a seated shape, but comfortable. So how to find that for your body it could be in a chair, it could be on the floor, couch, bed, but preferably more upright, seated, sort of intentional with your spine and head placement. And then we begin after that with our tongue. So I actually want you to move your tongue in your mouth like you're brushing your teeth with your tongue. So let's do that a couple times together. And really trying to stretch your tongue to the uh, outer cheeks and kind of reaching your tongue as far back as you can. So like actually getting your tongue to stretch a little bit. And then I'll have you rest the tongue at the upper palate. So a light touch of the tongue at the upper palate, right behind the top row of your teeth. And we're going to hold the tongue in that placement as we continue together. And let's start with a sense of touch, the touch of the air coming in and out of your nose. Notice this. We're going to aim to practice today, laying the foundation, breathing in a way where the breath is low in the torso and not moving up into our upper accessory muscles. So not so much in the chest or the collarbones or the shoulders or the neck, right? We're trying to keep this from happening, right? This big lift and lower here and we want the sense of expansion and release or expansion and subtle core contraction to happen low so from your low ribs down into your pelvic floor this is where we're aiming to feel the breath today so one way that we can start to play with this is by inhaling a larger volume of air but just down here in the low belly and pressing that air into your side waist your side core muscle so try that out you need to let your core muscles soften in order to do that. On your exhale, I want you to push the air out of your nose and engage your core muscles. Like you're really sucking in your tummy. And if you're putting on those like really tight jeans, you're trying to like cinch in around your side waist. If you're familiar with your pelvic floor, a subtle lifting up of your pelvic floor. And then you need to release all of that and notice the sense of expansion coming in again to low belly side waist even maybe a little into your lower back so sort of 3d expansion as if we are filling up a balloon with air right it fills up the circumference and then we release that air out right the belly gets we'll say smaller for a second yeah so try one more like this We're going to see if we can make that whole experience a little more subtle. So a little less volume of, ear, of air, a little less volume of air, that sense of expansion and release or subtle contraction is still happening, but like half of what you were just doing. Breath still again, and all the awareness, all the attention low in the torso, low in the trunk here. on the adventure of subtle sensing, pressure of air, the slightest engagement of those core muscles. So from the pelvic floor up into your diaphragm, I encourage you after this practice to Google what your diaphragm looks like so you can get familiar of the picture of how the diaphragm moves. And then right now we're in that inner experiencing as we inhale the diaphragm pushing down to help to expand that pressure expanding into side waist, low belly, pelvic floor. And as we exhale, the diaphragm pushes up, right? And we, we kind of create a little bit more space so we can in, you know, feel that sort of cinching in happening from side waist all the way inward up into 
the base of the sternum. Let's just take 30 seconds. You might place your hands if they aren't already on the belly or the sideways, just as that reminder. Okay, I'm just trying to feel, sense what's happening here as I breathe. Subtle breath in and out of the nose. All right, and I want you to shift back to more sort of a natural feeling breath for you, whatever that means right now. You might roll your shoulders, move your body a little bit, and if you're ready to continue moving your body, I would encourage you to continue with a basics yoga and movement class that you can find right here. And if you're not ready to quite move, but you're ready for another type of practice, I would encourage you to try the basics meditation. So breathwork is an amazing practice to do before a movement practice or before a meditation practice. So whatever sort of flavor you're feeling, continue onward with that. And I look forward to seeing you there. And thank you so much for practicing with me.